In this video I will show you how you can go from a YouTube video all the way to a published blog post or an article using ChatGPT, GPT-4 and Midjourney in under an hour. Let's just get started. The first step is of course to find the YouTube video you want to turn into a blog post or an article, right? Here is my YouTube video I created a few days ago. I want to turn this into an article on my website. Basically, now I have two options. So what I want to do is turn everything into text. So I want every word I said in the video into text. I have found out that there are two good options now I like to use. We can either go with the code Python version where I have created this script. I can use just paste in the URL from the YouTube video and use the OpenAI Whisper to translate everything. But I also like to use this new API from Assembly AI, that is the conformer one, where now you can just paste in your YouTube link here. You can try it out for free, so you can hit next, just transcription, click next again, and this will run through it and transcribe every word from the YouTube video into text. And I think this took about one minute, so now let's just copy the whole transcript. Uh, I'm just gonna grab everything. I might sort some things out and I'm just gonna uh, paste it just into an empty text file here. So that's good because we need to use this now in GPT-4 or ChatGPT to create our article or blog post for this. But now let's move on to our next step. And that is gonna be planning out our structure for the blog post or article. So what I want in this one is one H1 title. I want an introduction. I want two H2 uh, headlines and I want a conclusion. I'm gonna be taking ChatGPT here to help me create some good titles and brainstorm some ideas. On ChatGPT, I just wanna prime the model a bit. So I just go, you are a creating marketing expert. You will help me write an intriguing SEO optimized blog post titles. Acknowledge this with yes. Yes, I can help you with that. And then I go brainstorm six blog posts, H1 titles from the following information. The must include the phrase how to because I want the how to in my h1 title right then I just go to my text here remember and take some information just feed it in here so GPT or chat GPT can know what some of the blog posts we are gonna write is about so let's just run this and see what we can get back here okay so I think I'd like this one how to level up your prompt engineering skills in eight minutes a step-by-step -step guide Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's just copy that. Go here. Replace this with this one. Just remove that. So that's good. Now we wanna we wanna skip the intro because I wanna create that last. Now I want two H2 titles. I'm gonna do a different approach here. Let me show you. So what I want to do now, I just wanna copy every word I have here from my transcription. And I want to go on ChatGPT. Here are context to the blog post I want to write. Acknowledge that you have read it by answering red. Here I just want to paste the whole thing and click submit. And we get red back, right? Now we have every single word we said in the video in the context window to ChatGPT. And we can start to brainstorm some H2 titles. So I'm just going to go brainstorm six H2 questions that could be interesting and give value to the reader from the context above. What are the benefits of adding context to your prompts for ChatGPT? Okay, so that's a good one, I think. Let's copy that and add it in here. And I think this, how can you improve your prompt engineering skills for ChatGPT and GPT-4? I like that one. I think that's great. So we can do that up here. Now we have two H2 titles we can answer, right? So that, then it's just going to be adding those to our blog post here. And we can move on. Okay, so now we got our H2 titles. The next thing we want to do is head over to GPT-4 now. If you have access to that, if not, just use ChatGPT. I want to use GPT-4 to answer these questions so we can implement this into our blog post. So I'm just going to select the model. I'm going to pick GPT-4 and I want to prime it, right? So I'm going to show you how I do this. So here I just like to prime the model with ignore all previous instructions. Here is your new role and persona. You are a tech writer for a famous online tech website. Your task is to write engaging and helpful blog posts from the given context. Acknowledge this with answering yes. 
Okay, perfect, so we got yes. Now we want to bring our context. So again, we're just gonna copy our whole transcript from the YouTube video, paste it in here. Here are the context for the blog post we are gonna write. Answer with red to confirm you have read the context and stay idle. So in here, we're just gonna paste in our post and click submit and we get read back, so, or red. <laughs> so now we are ready to answer our questions. The first question we had was, how can you improve your prompt engineering skills for ChatGPT and GPT-4? And what are the benefits of adding context? So let's start with this one. Now I just go write four paragraphs that answers the following question and helps the reader understand. Use bullet points and etc. to help improve readability. Use the given context to improve your answer. How can you improve prompt engineering skills for ChatGPT and GPT-4? So let's hit submit. Okay, so I think this is a good start. We got four paragraphs with bullet points. I think this is good. I want to kind of try to add in some examples. So I'm just gonna go, great, that was good. Rewrite the answers, but include some simple examples that demonstrate your points. Yes, this looks very good. It included examples in every single paragraph here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna grab all of this, head over to our docs, and just paste this in as our first H2. As you can see now, we have included this into our blog post. So we got actually four H3s here now uh, with some good uh, answers here and we got some examples and stuff. So that's ready to go. Now we want to move on to our next H2. So I'm just gonna replace the question right, paste it our new question. Instead of using bullet points here, I kind of want to use simple examples to improve readability and I want to do three paragraphs perfect so let's just spin this and see what we get yes I think this sounds pretty good I'm quite happy with this so what I want to do now is just copy all of this head back to our doc and just paste in this so I just did some quick editing gave it some space and stuff and yeah our h2 is ready now let's move to our introduction now I just go all the way up again to our window because I want to start fresh. I want to write how I want my introduction to be. So here I just go write a short intriguing introduction in first person view from the following information. So I want first person view because I want to say things like I think this is good. I think this should be used right. So you get the point. Let's go back to our article here. Copy what we have so far paste it in here and hit submit. Yes, I think this actually looks fine. I recently dove into the world of prompt engineering for ChatGPT and GPT-4. I was amazed to find that with just a few simple tweaks, I could dramatically enhance the quality, right? So what I was looking for here was to get this, I have dove, I could, I, I received, right? That was my aim here. So I'm just going to copy this. Uh, I think this is fine. Of course, I'm going to read all of this at the end to see if we're going to make some changes. But for now, this is a great draft, right? So I want to paste my introduction in here and just make it normal text and make some spaces. And now that's complete. Let's do our final conclusion. So for that, I'm just going to copy the introduction we just made, head back to GPT-4. I'm gonna go up to our prompt here. I'm just gonna change it up here. I'm just gonna edit this. I want to add in my introduction under here and we're gonna change this to conclusion. And I just want an engaging conclusion in first person view from the following information. Yeah, that should be good. So let's spin this and see what we get. In just 8 minutes, I've been able to significantly improve my prompt engineering skills for ChatGPT and GPT-4, and you can too. By understanding the importance of context, role persona, experimenting with different techniques, iterating and learning. Yeah, I like this. This could be a good conclusion. And let's just paste that in. And that should be it. i kind of happy with this article. It's not the longest. That was never the intention. It's 800 words. That's pretty good for my website. So what I'm gonna do now is just, I'm gonna read through the whole thing. I'm gonna make my personal touch and edits and see what I wanna change, some wording, maybe some structure. And then we're gonna run it in the AI detection tool to see how it holds up there. 
Okay, so I read through the whole thing. It's kind of exactly what I wanted. I just want it to be very concise and focused on how you can improve your prompt engineering skills. I don't want some whole fluffy kind of thing. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I just changed up a few things. Now let's copy all of this and head over to the AI classifier and see how it holds up. Okay, so let's see here. This comes back as unclear if it's AI generated. Okay, that's fine. But what I wanted to say quickly is that since this is based on my own content, right? I created the video, I wrote the script for the video, so I don't really care. It's basically, I'll be just using ChatGPT or GPT-4 to help me speed up the process instead of typing myself. Since this is already my content, if it's not your content, you might want to iterate more to make it your personal content instead of just a copy of the video but that's up to you so let's move on to the publish step this is where we are at now we have our h1 title right we have our featured image introduction i have embedded my youtube video about this i added some internal links and now you can see the only thing we are really missing is the images. I only use Mid Journey or other AI image generators now for creating my images for my blog post. Let's head over to GPT-4 to get some prompt ideas we can run in Mid Journey. If you haven't seen my video on how you can use GPT-4 to create prompts for Mid Journey or other AI image generators, you can find that on my channel. It should be quite easy to find. But now I just go, now generate a mid-journey prompt for your interpretation of a prompt engineer sitting at a computer typing, the matrix style background, smoke, fog on the ground. So see what this brings us. Here we have a prompt that is finished. So what I'm going to do is just going to copy this. Since the new mid-journey version is so good at processing natural language, GPT-4 is perfect for these kind of tasks. So I'm really happy how we can use this now. It's so easy. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run a few of these. I'm just going to regenerate some. I'm going to paste all of them into mid journey. And let's see if we can find some illustrations we can use for our post. Okay, so we have some results back here. Let's take a quick look here. So we got, yeah, these. I think we can use some of these. These are quite cool. I really like this one and the left one here, maybe on top. And this is a bit different, so we're also going to use this. So let me grab some of these, put them into our article, and let's take a look at the final post. Okay, so that is the post finished. Let's find it here on my homepage. So let's click here. How to level up your prompt engineering skills in 8 minutes, a step-by-step -step guide. Yeah, I was very happy with this. I think it turned out pretty good. We got our embedded YouTube video. We got our H2s. The images turned out pretty good, I think. I like them. I think they fit very good. And yeah, this is how I do it. This is my process. I uh, kind of hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can learn something from it. If you enjoyed this video and you want to dive deeper into prompt engineering, be sure to check out my membership below where I have more tutorials and more stuff coming up on this topic. Also, don't forget to check out this video here if you enjoyed this one. And as always, have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.